Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and this is the sneaky agent. Luke Smith. And Luke, you have completed all the required objectives. Yes, you I just need to get out of here now. <laughs> you need to get out, and you're being hotly pursued here. Before we start, there is something I want to mention. Luke, you used the proximity mine. Yes, Very I effectively, did. yeah. That is actually a promo. And normally I don't include promos in our playthroughs or expansions or anything like that. I want to show you what you get in the base game. But I was so concerned with making sure I didn't look at any of the equipment that Luke was picking, I forgot that there was actually a couple of promos in there. And you get those <laughs> promos when you pre-order the game directly from the Plat Hat Games website. There's two promos, there's that and an EMP effect as well. So that's something to consider. Don't worry, the base game comes with lots of equipment items to choose from as mm -hmm. well. Luke, we had a couple of great suggestions from the viewers. Actually, one of them was discussed pretty thoroughly from Zen Moose. And so okay. that's the one we're gonna use. It's got the most votes. Let's go to the table. Now, Zen Moose wants me to move the beast only two spaces. Only two spaces? What's he thinking? Well, he knows we're stunned, so we can only move two spaces. <laughs> Thank you, Luke. And we're gonna go to T15, right here, and we're gonna smell. We're gonna sniff the air and see if we can pick up the scent of that foul agent. Can we smell you? No, sir. Oh, this is, this is not good. This is not good for me because Zen Moose had a very good plan for what to do if we could smell Luke. Otherwise, he kind of said, well, here's a couple of options. Good luck to you. <laughs> so, all right, let's, let's go over to the Prophet and see what we can do. Okay, I kind of misspoke. Zen Moose did give me a couple of options for what to do with the Prophet who's in the vehicle, but there was some debate and discussion about what the best thing was to do. Luke probably was here at R16 or Q18. And so we don't want to miss him. If he was at R16, he could have gotten out to the street here. Whereas if he was at Q18, he could be tucked in somewhere over here even. So I don't want to drive too far ahead or potentially be too far behind. With that in mind, I'm going to drive the vehicle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and stay in, because I may need to use the motion detector next turn. But this does give me good line of sight down this street and up this one as well. Certainly one of the issues was whether or not to stay in the vehicle, because if I get out and I can see Luke, I get to take a shot and we win the game possibly. But I'm gonna stay in. Luke, do I see you? No. I don't see you. No. Well, that's clever for you not to have been on the streets. Notice I could have also seen down this way as well. So Luke isn't there. Well, I'm befuddled now, but I'm glad I stayed in the vehicle because I'm probably gonna need to use that motion detector. I'm gonna remove the stun token from the beast here, so he'll be able to move at his full speed. That's also gonna be very helpful. Luke, you are a master agent, I have to say. Hi. You're, yes, you're eluding us at every turn. Okay, are we gonna have a last scene token placed? No. I don't even have that to work with. All right, let's go back to the table. I'll see if I can sort out what I'm gonna do. I need information, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use the motion detector. Luke, where are you? Southwest. Could you be more specific? No. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Southwest. Oh, so Luke's actually somewhere behind me still in this direction. Knowing that the agent is somewhere down here, the beast probably couldn't be in a worse position because we've got this little buttress here. So if I want to come out and around, I'm going to have to waste movement going backwards and then coming back. And even if I want to go in this direction, I'm going to come out and around as well. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I could get here, but we already have the line of sight fine in that direction. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I could be able to see in this direction, but now I'm still kind of behind. I don't think Luke's sitting here. So I think the best thing I can do is go one, two, three, four, five. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to get as far over in this direction as possible. And if Luke starts going this way, at least I'm a little bit farther north of the vehicle. Luke, can I see you? No. Now, I was feeling a little more optimistic knowing that the agent was somewhere southwest of the vehicle. But then when I moved the beast, I kind of felt like I was wasting time, but I didn't know what else to do there. Maybe this time we'll get a last scene token? No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's fine, dude. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but you know what? That might actually be a bit of a clue. Let's go and see if I can put that information to use. Now, if I haven't seen Luke cross my line of sight here, or here, or over here, that tells me, especially since he was southwest, he's still over in this direction, and maybe heading this way. 
hoping to cross up into the exits that are on this side of the board. With that in mind, I think instead of using the motion detector, which I'm tempted to do, I am going to just drive one, two, three, and then stop here. I've got line of sight down this road, in case he for some reason hasn't crossed here yet. I still have line of sight if he crosses in this direction, but I'm just a little closer over here, which may be necessary later. With the beast, I'm also going to move in this direction. I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. I'm going to stop there. I want to be able to see down this road still, but moving a little closer to be ready to pounce if Luke does appear over in this direction. Luke, can I see you? No. Am I surprised? No. <laughs> You're right. Well, the cat and mouse chase continues. And I know Luke's not showing it on his face, but I think he's concerned because I'm pretty confident about where he is, and I'm just going to keep drawing that net in a little closer. Last scene token? Go. Shoo! <laughs> no last scene token. All right, I still feel pretty confident about where Luke is. Hopefully I'm right. Now, I know that Luke is southwest of me. I mean, I'm pretty confident of that in case he's used some kind of wacky equipment. But I don't want to move off of this road. I like my line of sight here. I'm going to let my beast do the roaming, so I may as well activate the motion detector. Luke, where are you relative to the car? Southwest. Okay, so no surprises there. Now I'm going to move the beast. One, two, three. I could go four or five, but honestly, if I sniff from here, one, two, three, four, I'll be able to rule out Luke hiding in one of these, and that means he has to be somewhere over here, probably on these spaces. Luke, can I smell you? No. Okay, so Luke is either below this line, which I doubt, well, he could be, but he's probably over on this side. I think he's probably around here by now. Having the profit in the vehicle in this location has been very handy because I have excellent line of sight, but eventually I'm going to want to get the profit out to help the beast chase down Luke, but hopefully it's going to do something useful for us here. Last scene token? Yes. There we go. Let's go to the table and see where it's going to be placed. I was last seen on C15. <laughs> Tricky, Luke. That's very good because if you'd gone here or here, I'd know exactly which hallway you went through. Now, I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to move the beast first. Now, Luke could be on D14, for example. So if I went one, two, three, four, five, I could actually attack you. It would be an automatic hit for landing on you. But if I'm wrong about that, then I'm in trouble. So I'll probably just go one, two, three, four and stop. Just in case I can see Luke, I'll be able to attack him still. Luke, can I see you? Bada bing! Oh wow, <laughs> finally I've been rewarded after all this chasing. The beast is hungry. Now, I have to roll one, two, three, four or more on this die roll. Surely I can do that. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh! Oh. An automatic miss. Yeah, insult to injury. I couldn't have rolled at least a three or something. <laughs> Okay, that is, that is an automatic miss. And I'm just realizing there's no way for my profit to get to you and attack either, because even if I drive up here and hop out of the vehicle, even to this space from the road, I can't attack you from there. Yep. Oh, I do need to do something with the profit though. I have to assume that Luke is gonna run this way, so I'm gonna drive the vehicle out and around. Pedal to the metal, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm going to hop out. Oh, let's go to K7. Now, before you consider leaving comments about my terrible dice rolling, that's the first time in this whole game that I've missed, right? In this game. In this game, <laughs> yes, in this game. I've been doing pretty good, except when it really mattered there. I'm going to get another chance at this, though. I'm pretty confident. Uh, Luke, you ready? Yes. I have to assume we're going to see a last scene token. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see where it's going to go. And I just realized the last scene token is still on the board. And it shouldn't be because here's the agent here. So, Luke, where is it going to be placed now? On B13. Now, that I wasn't expecting. I thought Luke was just going to run up here, but I suppose that would have been too obvious. And he's a little too clever for that. Okay, so let's see. If you were here, you could have gone one, two, three. You could be tucked in here. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, goodness, you could have even gone like this. One, two, three, <laughs> or four. So anywhere up along here. He could have even gone here just to tuck in and, and throw me off the scent. Oh, my goodness. Now I have choices again. Well, I got to say, my instinct tells me he's hiding in here. 
just to throw me off the scent. But that's too risky. If I go there and he's actually run up here, then on his next turn, he can go one, two, three, four, and he'll be, yes, crossing the line of sight of the prophet, but one more turn after that, he's on the exit space. So I think I have to plan for the worst and assume that he went somewhere up here. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Man, if he was there and I just ran right by him, I'm gonna feel really silly. All right, Luke, can I see you? Yes. I can see you? Yes. Oh, are you on A10? He is on A10. Okay, so hey, now, <laughs> hello there, little friend. I'm gonna roll, as long as I don't get a one, there it is, oh. a five. Well, what do you know? The dice didn't fail me. I know I'm shocked. Are you shocked? Shocked. <laughs> yes, and I'm relieved. Because in the games we've played of this, before the one we've played here with you guys, our viewers, who was winning as the agent? Me. Yeah, Luke was. And I think you saw some of that practice pay off here because you were making some very clever moves. You really had me second guessing myself most of this game, which was great. And I hope you guys have a good sense of how this game plays. Don't forget, of course, there's other hunters, there's other agents, a variety of different kinds of equipment. And when you play with additional players, there's some additional rules as well, different ways the objectives are put out. Maybe there's a trader element as well in the larger player count. But if you have any questions at all about anything that you saw here, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below and I'll gladly answer them as soon as I get a chance. And Luke, well done. You had a lot of pressure on you. A lot of people working against you. You did very well. I'm very proud of you. Until the next episode, everyone, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.